Hey, it's Sergi and welcome to the Safety Fellowship Podcast. For safety talks, safety blogs, safety articles, safety learning and awareness, and all other safety subject matters, log on to safefellow.com. Come on, let's talk safety. Hey, welcome. And today's podcast is based on cybersecurity. And the topic is the dangers of phishing and other cyber threats. The dangers of phishing attacks and other cyber threats have made cybersecurity more critical than ever due to the increasing amount of internet and technology scams. On today's topic, we're going to touch on the definition of phishing attack and scam. The dangers of phishing attacks and cyber threats. Common types of phishing scams and attacks. And lastly, safety tips against phishing attacks and online threats. So, what is phishing attack? Phishing is a cyber attack where criminals use fraudulent emails, text messages, hyperlinks, or URLs or websites to trick people into revealing and sharing sensitive information such as login passwords and credentials, credit card numbers, or personal details. Phishing is the main form of technology attack utilized by scammers to defraud individuals and businesses through business email compromise or through email account compromise. So what are the dangers of phishing attacks and other cyber threats? Cyber criminals and hackers are constantly finding new ways to make the most of vulnerabilities in computer systems and networks. And one of the most common tactics they use in nowadays is phishing. These phishing scams can be very convincing, often using logos and designs that mimic legitimate companies or organizations. It can be very difficult or challenging to notice the differences between a legitimate and a fraudulent source. One of the most dangerous aspects of phishing is that it can lead to a range of other cyber threats. Because once a criminal has access a victim's account, they can use it to launch other attacks such as malware infections or ransomware attacks. They can also use stolen information to commit credit card fraud, identity fraud, and other types of financial crimes. So let's talk about the common types of phishing attacks and phishing scams. The number one phishing attacks and scam is email phishing. This is the most common form of phishing attack. This type of scam utilizes fraudulent tactics like fake hyperlinks or URLs to tempt email recipients into revealing and sharing personal information. Scammers often pretend to be genuine source or sources of a company or organization. And the second most common phishing attacks and scam is angler phishing. Angler phishing is a relatively new form of phishing attack. It revolves mainly around social media. Scammers utilize fake hyperlinks and URLs as well, leading to cloned social media posts, tweets, or websites containing malware. And the third most common phishing attack and scam is malware phishing. Malware phishing is the deadliest form of phishing attack 
as it can paralyze a technology system or a network. Scammers plant malware disguised as a verified attachment or a file. Upon opening such an attachment or file can destroy the whole network system or the whole application or computer, whatever it is. And the fourth most common phishing attack and scam is smishing and vision. Smishing and vision are a form of phishing attacks that involves telephone as a method of communication. Smishing is the one where SMS or short messages are sent to scam victims. And vision, we start with V, is the auto scam telephone conversation. This is where the scammers have to call you pretending to be from a legitimate source or organization or company, all just to scam you. And the fifth most common phishing attacks and scams is spear phishing. Spear phishing is a tailored form of phishing attack to particular individuals using known information they have gathered through research into their lives, social life, work life, family life. Scammer utilize this method because it is a hard form of phishing attack to detect if it was or it is a fraud. It makes people believe the information was coming from a reliable source or sources. Imagine someone telling you the real issue in your life. You will never guess it was all a form of scam because they have did their homework on you. They gather their information either through your social posting, a social media account, or through your family, or through uh, whatever, through your employment. So they know what's going on in your life and they come with that information just to scam you. It's very hard to detect. And the other form of common phishing attacks and scam is whaling. Whaling is also a tailored form of phishing attack to specific individuals, but these individuals tend to be either big in society or their field of work. This form of attack is tailored for bigger people, like companies, chief executives, celebrities, politicians. Scammers sometimes can pretend to be company executives just to connect with its subordinates or a lower rank of a company and order that lower rank to perform a financial transaction, which is very illegal. So we, we've talked about the types of common phishing attacks and scam. So how do we protect ourselves? So safety tips against phishing attacks and online threats. One is to be vigilant about suspicious emails and messages. If you receive emails or text messages that seem suspicious, try not to click on links or download attachments as much as possible. Instead, go directly to the sender's website just by typing the URL into your web browser. Or better yet, contact the company or the organization directly just to verify the message legitimacy. Number two safety tip is to keep your software up to date. Because one of the most common ways hackers and scammers, criminals, exploit vulnerabilities in computer or system or network is through outdated software. Keep your network operating system, web browsers, and other applications updated with the latest security patches and fixes. The third safety tip is to use strong passwords and two-factor authentication. Always use strong, unique passwords for your online accounts and enable two-factor authentication wherever possible. 
Enabling two-factor authentication will make it much difficult for criminals to access your account, even if they obtain your login credentials. For instance, let's say a criminal was, uh, was able to get your password for your email, but for him or her or they to log in into your email account, if you have activated a two-factor authentication, it will be difficult for the criminal to log in into your email account because he or she or they will have to confirm the second way before they can log in into your account. And the fourth safety tip is use antivirus and anti-malware software. Install and use reputable antivirus and anti-malware software on all your devices. Antivirus and anti-malware will help prevent malware infection and other cyber threats. And the fifth, which is the last safety tips for today podcast, is to educate yourself about cyber security. Stay informed about the best practices for staying safe online. Read articles, blogs, listen to podcasts about cybersecurity, and consider a cybersecurity course or attend a workshop to learn how to protect yourself from cyber threats. The bottom line for today's podcast is to know and be aware of all forms of phishing attacks because phishing attacks and other cyber threats arm individuals and not just individuals but organizations, businesses. But by following the safety tips I have given and staying vigilant about potential scams, you can help to protect yourself and your data from being vulnerable. These conclude our podcast for today. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for listening. My name is Soji. Bye. For safety talks, safety blogs, safety articles, safety learning and awareness, and all other safety subject matters, log on to safefellow.com. Come on, let's talk safety.